Hi everyone, so this week's talk is on our guinea pigs. Now guinea pigs are a species of rodent that belong to the cavidae family and they are also often known as cavies. But despite their name, they have no connection with guinea and they actually originate from the grasslands and lower slopes of the Andes in South America. Now this is where they were originally domesticated by the Incas who used them as a food source. However, over the recent years they have become increasingly popular with Western society who enjoy them as much loved pets and that's particularly due, due to their playful and affectionate character. Now as you can see here from our lovely bunch they do come in a variety of different breeds such as Abyssinian and you can sort of see the little rosette ones that look like they've got little tufts sticking out those are the sort of ones that are Abyssinians and then there's also Peruvian and Rex guinea pigs just to name a few so here they are all munching on their breakfast this morning so the lifespan of a guinea pig is typically around four to eight years of age and their gestation period is quite varied between 59 and 72 days and when a female guinea pig which is called a sow and the males are called boars when the females give birth they usually give birth to around three pups but it has been known that they can give birth for up to six so I'll just point you to the guinea pig with the blonde back and then the black head now when we got her she was pregnant with this little girl so in this case she just had the one baby pup and they live together quite happily now they are very social animals and as you can see they do love to be kept in small groups in the wild they generally live in groups of between five and ten individuals um, so they are very social animals and you can often hear them chattering away to each other and um, if you've got them as pets you might hear them squeaking now that squeak is characteristic of a guinea pig and it's actually called a weak and they do that when they're happy and excited and with our girls here they tend to do it first thing on the morning when we give them their breakfast and last thing on the night when we give them their tea now speaking of food guinea pigs require a high fiber diet that is supplemented with vitamin c and this is because they can't produce their own vitamin c very much like us as humans can't so 80 percent of their diet is actually here and then the rest of it is made up of fresh fruit and vegetables so such as leafy greens such as so today they've got some carrot some celery some broccoli some apple some cabbage and some green beans they also have peppers and other fruits that are high in vitamin c just to make sure that they're getting everything that they need and then the, is, that food is then complemented by a guinea pig pellet just is a complete feed just to make sure that again they're receiving everything that they need so another thing about guinea pigs is that their teeth never stop growing and if they lose teeth they'll also grow them back as well so because their teeth never stop growing it's important to provide them with fibrous material for them to gnaw on so they do get that out of the hair but we also provide them with willow and sycamore sticks that grow naturally around the site for them to chew on so our guinea pigs as well receive a regular health check to ensure that they're fit and healthy as you can see some of ours have got quite funky hairdos so they require regular grooming to make sure that their coat stays in tip-top condition we also have to check their eyes ears um, and mouth just to make sure that they're okay and we also trim their nails now a little fun fact for you is that guinea pigs have four toes on the front legs and only three on the back feet now our girls here we got them all from a guinea pig rescue in nottingham now some of these were just unwanted pets some had come from not very nice backgrounds and others were rescued um, and saved from being snake food so we made a donation to that rescue centre to help them keep up the good work that they're doing and then we took some on as well to offer them a good home and we got them last February now they're all girls and they all live quite happily together you can see some of them look like they might be related and here they are 
enjoying their breakfast. 